Hello, Internet friends. My name is Bay. This is my forehead, and that is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But I'm bad. A light commentary playthrough here on the PS5. So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. Huh. Figures. Shinra's always gotta have someone stuff on. It's their friggin' M.O. So let us enter under Junon. Get the main story moving. Turn to dev space with you. Oh, barrel of fate. I don't know. Hey, if you were here when we played the demo, what's that? Have you played enough Dark Souls? I have. All of them. And Bloodborne. I one shot the Orphan of Koss on my first time ever fighting him. One moment. <laughs> Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. Asking. A woman who could turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. Uh, half a million? Down here, though, we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. Uh, sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But over there, there's a quiet little inn where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Mm -hmm. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything, anything at all, and there will be consequences. I don't think that was the same cutscene from the demo, and there was more. Behave yourselves now. Like, what if immediate boss fight? Don't care what she said. There's got to be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we going to find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? 
Sounds good. And remember, low profile. Oh. And the demo pacing is very different. Brittle houses in the sea air. Paint chipping and wood bending. Time moving on. And the light here. The way it bounces off the... Oh, made your way out here, huh? Mind if I get a shot of you? I've got the perfect backdrop. Getting the exposure correct down here can be a bit tricky. What with the lack of sunlight? I truly appreciate the challenge. As always, I'd welcome tips about other promising spots. Way over there. Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. She's Many years ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. She's our town. Oil, coal, wind. The Republic of Junon had no shortage of ways to generate power. No need for Mako. No, sir. Hey there, looking to augment your folios? Well, hope you found what you needed. So they don't have comics? Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. Dave's Chocobo Express! It's such a weird juxtaposition of technologies because the Shinner oriented Mako stuff is like high tech right now. Right? Like Atomic Age? That guy's got like a digital DSLR camera. I guess that's what, that's what D stands for. You know what I mean? And he's got like a, a freaking like L, LED potential Bluetooth Kino. And then you've got VR. And then we've got, you know, like medieval swords. And... We've found all the weapons up to this point. You take care of yourself, okay? Oh yeah, and then we have, you know. Where the word around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? Oh my gosh! Actual customers! Uh, is it diamond weapon that attacks Junon and gets blows up by the cannon in the original game? Because there's only diamond, emerald, and ruby, right? I think something like that. That's the sci-fi style. Original alien. Well, uh, the Genova weapon oriented stuff, we're not going to figure out until later. It's just, that there's like obviously a high, high sci-fi element to the Final Fantasy VII world, but then like a lot of the population are not. They're like golden, like steel age. If you want to use like Civ parlance. Ooh. Mine. Thank you so, so much. I have to look because I thought Seven only has Diamond, which is only a cutscene, and Emerald and Ruby which are optional. 
But then there's also Sapphire and one other, but those are in the other games, like Dirge of Cerberus or whatever. And then there's Ultima Weapon. I don't think that was ever a boss either. Some fishing village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing a boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robe friends are SOL. Hmm. Waters here used to be teeming with fish, practically jumping to your boat, way people tell it. But ever since the offshore reactor came online, only things caught in the nets are monsters, and I ain't talking tuna. Shinra just couldn't help themselves. Had to go and poison the sea, too. Mm -hmm. I don't think any combat if we fart around here. It's just going to go to the end, but... But yeah, that whole high-tech, low-tech amalgamation is actually a lot of the Final Fantasy games, to be honest. Many, many years ago. All right, let's see what's biting today. Yo, what's happening? A Shinra event. When they're pulling out all the elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. She wasn't kidding when she said it was well guarded. Got any other ideas? Those are freaking tanks. All right, get this one. That's just the breadcrumb if you come here first. That's cool. Oh, it's... What's your name from the other town? I think. Huh? You're not looking to throw down, are you? Sorry, but I was just about to leave port. Oh, name's Isabel, by the way. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail? This is a different person. She is Shiva. Let's see.
sure. Hmm. That's kind of nasty. Hmm. Fortunately, there's a loss. I had a pretty good tempo, but nope. I won middle really hard, but... One drops for three, man. That's gross. Reduces the power. It's only when played, though. So you can still play here and you don't get reduced? Is that how that works? Because does this count? No. Hmm. It doesn't count as enhanced the, the purple down. 
Well. That was a little closer, I guess. She could have kept playing cards, but... Definitely gets tougher because, like, they're not really playing anything that's like super crazy, but like very specific movements are really powerful. Because enhanced means that anything that's buffed by like, the crab or something, I thought. Here to be anything buffed by the crab. Oh, I see. Even even after the fact, it still it still works. Okay. Not on play, so. Should be fine. Or not? Wait. What? Wow, that's nasty. Okay. I thought I had it, and then, uh, nope. <clears throat> All right. So I can't just stick to two lanes. This is kind of like a better one drop, isn't it? Hmm.
on the crawler is just the reverse of the sweeper. Okay. Allergies are kicking my butt. Better to have Phoenix on my hand the whole time instead of draw it. Top. That's gross. Do it right back at you, I guess. Wow. Super gross. Well, I would say that went uh, well. My goodness. That turned around. It's absolutely gutted her entire mid lane there. You can only ever have two of a card in your deck, right? So I withstood the barrage and then did the exact same thing back to them. Spawn diamond dust of power two, four, or six in empty positions. She just spawns cards. Damn. You took the wind right out of my sails. And here I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. Happy to be proven wrong, though. Especially by a real pro. Glad we could get that match in before I moved on. With all that pent-up frustration, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. She's talking about masturbation, right? We're talking about she's talking about masturbation. We got we all picked up. Okay. Sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? 
that was soldier. Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. We gotta go now. There's a monster attacking the boat. <laughs> this way, down here. It's moving. Quickly, please. <laughs> Nothing. Yuffie, grab his fin and hold on tight. Hey, we're coming. Hey, Shinra's most wanted. Get rid of that thing. Say what? Parrot. Focus. <laughs> Get its attention. On it. Huh. We pressure when it's in the water. Yeah, but like... the water.
Oh, yeah. Thanks for coming to help. Jumping away. Often. <laughs> nice work. Let's check on that girl. Come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. breathing again God she's so cold maybe someone should go find a doctor there's no time somebody help I'm I'm swimming as fast maybe as I can someone should go find a doctor there's no time And there, help me. You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start. <laughs> Anime, by the way. You picked the wrong girl, creep. What? <laughs> Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Aww. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't you? You big moron. Okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. How now? Who is that? <laughs> Another one of my guests. 
I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Hmm. She's such a dork. It, it's like painful. She's such a you dork. Really need to shut that reactor down. Often. Thanks so much, you guys. Those were some fancy moves. My name's Priscilla, by the way. Nice to meet you. Who's this? Oh, and Mr. Dolphin says thanks too. His name is just Mr. Dolphin. I don't know what I expected. Thanks so much, you guys. Those were some fancy moves. I don't want to think about what else is What a relief this thought. didn't turn out worse. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Well, yeah, so that was way easier than the demo. Mostly because I wasn't getting, like, three-ish to four tapped. I think the demo was all level synced, so that's probably why. Although I'm only a few levels above it. It was like 22, I think, or 25. Another HP up though, man. It makes me want to just immediately make sure those are on because those need to be soaking. The audio neek we don't need right now. It just make, puts him in Punisher mode when I'm not controlling him. HP up is too valuable to not... Uh, I've, I've learned after doing so much of the hard mode. I'm sure there'll be some crazy good AP farm, but... Sorry, the ship won't be leaving port until the festivities are over. Having as much of that done as you do during your normal game playthrough seems to be... It takes so much AP to level I them up. Swear. You'd think there'd be some players in these waters. In the water? I need to check something. Oh, it's almost... Almost done. I didn't know if it finished. Or all the scrawl of stuff. Well, that's going to finish soon, so... Oops. And feed that. This is finished. Regular combats get 3, 5, 7, 8, and some uh, money to go. Oh, well, would you look at that? I finally hooked a catch, and a good one, too. Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogan. And I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience. Okay. You just couldn't turn to face me, though? No. The next next cards to swap for are these wolves. Other one drops. That's fine. like a nasty back-to-back -back combo here. Oh wait, no, it's two. Duh. It's kind of a waste. What the heck is that?
Oh. I don't have any diagonals. Getting oh yeah, I didn't play there. All right. Fine. Pretty good block. Yeah. This should be good though. Oh yeah. I was really looking for one of those arch dragons earlier, but didn't draw it. for looking down on you just because you're young. Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know? Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then reel them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. <sighs> I should have been more careful. There's one more, but I guess maybe they're in the other section. Well, one more here. Damn you, allergies. Ocean's real quiet today. Oop. Too quiet. <laughs> Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Right. Got a teensy Let's favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? Sweet! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later! Um... I know, I know. She laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's get ourselves some rooms. Nothing we 
course she does the Naruto run. Sorry, the ninja run. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? Uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? I don't know why Redis is to talk to people. Just choose to growl at them instead of just being like, I would like a room too, please. she wants with us be honest could be that she's after those shinner bounties <sighs> you know you might be right about that little punk blowing smoke up our asses ought to give her a piece of my mind mm hmm Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? <laughs> I could feel them slipping away, one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. What? And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. No, nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Oh, that's a cool little nod. right here. Mm -hmm. New stick. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? <laughs> you shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. <laughs> I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. <laughs> Water under the bridge. But next time... So I don't know if that was coined a dialogue because, or if that knows because of the save. That's what happens, and that's what I, that's what I, Cloud did in remake, for me. You don't have to though. You don't have to say that. So I don't know. I wonder if these are things that lead to the, the whole bathing suit section. Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. I guess more aptly swimsuits. I always thought bathing suit sounded weird because you're not bathing when you go swim in the ocean, for example. You are swimming. Having a swim. Swimsuits. 
Yes. You want to talk to me with your actual Nanaki voice? You goober? This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Hmm. We'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. <laughs> Poor nose. <laughs> Poor cat wolf. Is Tifa's room all the way upstairs? I suppose so. Oh, this is Yuffie's. Our giant Shuruken. You assume giant talking cats aren't very common? I mean, maybe, but like... I don't know. It'd make more sense than... Hey, this giant cat wolf just growled at me. I guess it wants its own room. And what the hell is... In this game world, you could basically talk to giant birds. They know what you're saying. Chocobos are so damn smart. Oh. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Hmm. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Hmm. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Hmm. The only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. His family owned the general store. Right. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like... She could have been a model, and... <laughs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. <sighs> Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, these are definitely either questions that lead to the date or questions that lead to the swimsuits or both but i also don't know what the heck chapter are we even in right now We're in chapter four 
Again, the remake had 18. Even though the last two are really short, technically. It's mostly just boss fights and cutscenes. I mean, for the first playthrough, I'm just going, going with my gut and listening to what Aerith said, because you can, you can definitely play this very Aerith forward. But she tells you don't fall in love with her. But then I don't know if that's what also potentially saves her, if that's even a thing. Because I guess spoiler alert, if you don't know the original game. <laughs> This inn is cracked. I would totally stay here. How about the big giant fiend fish skull, though? Get the big stuffed fish over the bed. <laughs> Pearl shell's cool, though. Yes. <laughs> On the bed, though? Gang's all here. It's time you got to know me. Hello. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with. <laughs> <laughs> Wutai? brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> <laughs> Although, that is something we do. alone so far from home is expensive so i've been moving from town to town hustling scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man until that is i came here and lucky i did because i met Rhonda. she offered me the gig of a lifetime an assassination and guess who the target is seriously yes <sighs> just spit it out already who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Uh. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Oh, shit! Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> I know you're in there, my friend. If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? <sighs> A pain in the ass. Let's go. Alright. 
paint. What light from yonder balcony breaks? Come on down and say hello. Roche, I don't have a bike. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Hmm. Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the speed demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gage Uh, me? <laughs> you come alone? <laughs> It only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> You got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? No. Oh. <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Hmm. It worked out fine. Like I pray it will for you, Fee, upstairs. Wait, in the crow's nest? Was that way over here? Or over here? A side quest. I think this was two. <laughs> Didn't think you'd still be hanging around. Well, since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. <laughs> since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. Hmm. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. Okay. The crow's nest. Oh. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. 
but he's got to learn to stand on his own two feet. Besides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? Bork. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. Mark, Mark. Got Shinra on speed dial. So if my dog gets hurt, you get hurt. We're recruiting for... What? We're recruiting for <laughs> my friends. I'm... Here you go. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Speak with the frog master to hear the details. They're on the way out. It's also weird because the world map just shows actual Junon. Ooh. I need to show one off, Tifa. Be another path through there? I'm not aware of. Don't you worry. Any monster that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Hey, Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? 14. Wait, from spring, so 13. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. But. But. 2,000 gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it. Since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help setting your price to too great. <laughs>
I think the, the 2000 gills with his okay, mom here. What? Know how some parents stop their kids from leaving the nest, claiming it's too soon or they're not ready. Any excuse to keep them at home. What about it? Loads of parents are like that, but I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from flying. I don't want to clip her wings. I want her to soar. <laughs> I hear you scoffing. You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep all to myself? Oh, yeah. And that's mm. what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down, all to keep her safe. Oh, Marlene, I wish you could be my baby girl forever. Uh, bow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark. Hit me with that bow wow wow. Hit me with that bow wow wow. together marlene's barely out of diapers you've got time right right i'm just getting worked up over nothing yeah she won't be leaving me for a while then again hey she's four Oh shit. Sandstorm <laughs> Drakes. Oh. Uh, okay. Really? 
Oh, no, it's sooner yet. Dog's moving. I guess what I heard him say is that his that was like his his trip money or something along those lines. That it was his mom gave him to go off on his journey to become a soldier. That was like you know here's <clears throat> here's money to to go travel. Simon took damage. Sa Salmon. Not Simon. That's my cat. Salmon took damage. 48 damage, unfortunately. Sam. Shit. What are you doing here? It's probably an <laughs> Came achievement. Came all this way and you're still full of energy. Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. <laughs> if you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Oh. Dilster was looking for you, dude. What? Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on. Aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's, uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's, um, getting Sam in here taking zero damage or just above a thir certain threshold or something. So I guess he got clipped by like a random AOE air attack or something like that. I'm happy we were able to meet you. Almost feels like this little one brought us together. You think my mom knew about me and Claire and the baby? Sounds like a mother superpower, yes. Once you're out of there, 
We'll go pay your grandma a visit. Rose against Shinra welcomes all those <laughs> you who believe Karinos in freedom. are something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. Violence isn't the answer. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. Okay. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon yep. has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. Yep. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sort of. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. Okay. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? <laughs> the lighthouse is up ahead, right on the cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was like forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help or me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the great condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. Is that a monster hunt? I get that we're brand new to the CAS, but handing out flyers and posting signs is getting old. Well, better get used to it. I'm stuck. Oh no, it begins. La 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 Curious about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. Crap. So A rank is the baseline for getting rewards. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. How may I be of service to you? There's six. Six songs. I don't have any of them yet. Is there one song right here? Well, let's give it a shot. Last thing we'll do on this episode. I have to actually watch my capture. I can't watch the my monitor because it's a little bit faster than the capture card. Okay. We want to do on our way. Hundred and forty eight notes. An A rank is above twelve thousand score.
I missed the other combo note. Oh my gosh. It is so hard, man. Terrible, but pretty bad. Holy crap. Okay, so misses are minus points. Bads are just zero points. Why well, you really only get points for great timings. Wowza. This is going to be rough. I may even look up what the rewards are for doing all of these because this, the amount of time it would take to really get good at this, to get really important rewards would be a lot. It's like in my brain, so I was in jazz band for years. I was in an actual band, recorded multiple different like demos. I was in the studio. I, 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 I played bass guitar and guitar and drums. Like I have rhythm. The problem is it's doing it on the controller. Because in my brain, I'm playing this song and I know the, the notes like the bum, 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 bum. Like I, I hear where I'm supposed to hit them, but you have to flick either one or both of the joysticks in that direction, then let it recenter to flick to the other notes. You can't just pull and like land on when the note is ready to be played. You have to flick, 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 flick. Flick, 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 and then you have to be on that right axis, right? Because an, it's an eight petaled leaf, north, south, east, west, and then the inner cardinals and, and cardinals. But, and if you're off by a little bit, it won't count. So you have to be on time and then also accurate. And that's going to be a lot to get to do this. And this is a one note it's like i guess at the difficulty in the bottom left hand corner and they're gonna get harder and harder and harder yeah that's definitely something to work on i don't know much much later and just devote time just like getting in the the mini game mindset because are there like game changing things you get or is it just like cool stuff I would assume they wouldn't put big game changing things behind it, but you never know. Also considering there are six songs just at this one dude. I'm a rambling gambling fella. If you want to hear my tale, I'll tell you. So very curious how that will go. I'm sure I can look up the rewards. When the time arises. Obviously not right now. Mm -hmm. Hell Rider 2? But it's definitely going to be a tough mini game to really get good at. But it's probably important, I'd imagine. 
I'm assuming there'll probably be like accessories and things behind it. So maybe things that aren't needed, but things that would be nice. Can't imagine they would lock like a weapon behind it or something. That would be insane, but you never know. Counter award that grants invincibility while casting spells. Hmm. So you won't get interrupted when you're casting spells. Such a large staff. Wild. All right. And I'll do it for right now. Go we'll keep moving through here. Thank you for watching. You've been watching live. Thank you for watching. If you watch it on YouTube, got the whole previous game as well. If you want to watch that and the DLC, all of it and all of 16 and a bunch of 14 and all the souls games. And Bloodborne and Elden Ring, a whole bunch of stuff. See you all in the next one. Oh, I don't know you could do that. <laughs>